What's going on guys? Alex here with 814 ADC and today I'm doing a couple unboxings for you guys today. Um, this is the first time I've sat down and filmed in probably a week or so. Um, just similar to how I talked uh, on the last video I believe I filmed. Um, I just stated how I, I was really busy and I just didn't have a whole lot of time to, to sit down and film. Um, my work schedule, uh, a lot of the days I work from 10 to 6.30. So like it throws my schedule all off and you know, I should be using those evenings and even in the mornings at times to, to get stuff done to film, but I've just been in kind of a funk lately. Um, and I don't really know why, to be honest with you, like I'm still into knives. Like I've still been, you know, following the community heavily, um, you know, on a day to day basis, I've still been watching all my friends' videos, keeping up to date with what they're doing and you know, what's going on and stuff like that. So it's not like I'm like falling out of the knife community and the knife hobby in general. I've just like been like bland lately. I don't, I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know if it's like part seasonal depression. I, I never really believed in that type of stuff before, but I think this year kind of hit me hard because it is, what is today? April 19th. Um, and it was like 35 and snowy outside here in Northwestern Pennsylvania. Like I'm just, I'm so over the crappy weather. Um, so I don't know if that's what makes me kind of, or pushes me towards this type of funk as you could call it. Um, but I really want to get out of it. I really want to get back to making videos. And I have a lot of videos lined up to make that I that I strictly and frankly need to make. Um, you know, that are long overdue, that are part of Pass Around Knives. Just stuff that I need to get done. Um, and I need to just kind of re reiterate and restart and recharge myself. Um, so I have a couple videos to film uh, after this one. But I figured this would be a good one to start because I love unboxing videos. And um, I don't know about you guys, but they're always my fav my most favorite videos to watch other people do. So I figured I'd start with this. Um, two of them are boxes, and one is a knife that I've technically already unboxed, but um, I just, I got this in. So this is the new uh, Kubi, I believe, um, K2104, I think. Um, it is one of Colin Mason Pierre's new designs, um, CM Knife Designs. I believe they're, he's calling it the Hide. Um, and I got this in, so this is a long story. I ordered it from Knife Global, um, probably two or three weeks ago. It took quite a while to get here. Um, but this was a new model that I knew Colin was coming out with and I was really excited for it. And I saw someone on Instagram, uh, post about it and say how he got it from Knife Global and they weren't available to Amazon or, um, any like retailers yet. So I'm like, well, shoot, I'll jump on there. Um, see what Knife Global has and I'll, you know, maybe make an order. I ended up making an order. Um, they had a few other color variations than what I saw originally on, I think, Kubi's website and what I believe was going to be put on Amazon. Uh, I just believe they were going to put out a black and a like gray blue G10. But I saw this one with the OD green and the uh, dark wash. I really like this color combo. So I went with this one. I actually got it for a better price. I think I got it for 56 bucks as compared to, I think 70 they retail for. I got some 20% off coupon code. I don't know what it was. Um, so I ended up saving money, getting a better price on the knife, but I had to wait like three weeks to get it in. And the shipping was in Chinese because it is a Chinese retailer, I believe of Kubi and other Chinese manufacturers, manufacturers. But it was kind of a frustrating experience. And then I got it in on a Friday, but I was already at work and I couldn't go pick it up. And then I think I just got super busy the following week and I didn't get it until like Thursday, I want to say. And then I I'm, like I was like, okay, I'm going to wait. But then I was like, no, I'm not going to wait because I've already waited long enough. And here we are. Uh, I already unboxed it. So I'm going to give you guys just kind of, you know, notice that I had the knife in. A full review will be coming um, at some point. Uh, I'm going to stop giving you guys, uh, you know, ETAs and time frames for reviews because sometimes they just don't happen for months at a time. Like there's a couple of knives over here that I've been needing to do review on from like early February, I think. So I'm just, I know I suck at that sometimes, but, and I do feel bad. It's just, it is what it is. Uh, cracking open a sparkling water here. I love these. I'm going to Walmart. Very, very tasty. But yeah, this is a great knife. I'm really enjoying it. It's a front flipper kind of with like a different styling of flipper tab. Uh, you have a hole, you have, I believe it's 14C28M, so a really good choice of steel right there, um, CM design. Overall, just really fun, really fidgety. Um, it is a little heavy for what it is, but it fits the hand very, very well, and I've 
I've really been enjoying it and I'm the reviews gonna be super positive on this so um, this is gonna fit in very well with the Royal another one of Collins design, Collins designs that I've already have um, so yeah CMF uh, or CM designs uh, QB 2104 I think the hide so I'm gonna use this to unbox these other two packages so this one is actually coming from Tinker Force and if you guys are not familiar with Tinker Force um, they are a newer company that I very recently heard about um, I found out about them from Kevin or through Kevin over at Left EDC and they make very affordable 3d printed like dump trays and maintenance trays and disassembly trays um, there's a plethora of different options and different um, uses for them so I saw uh, Kevin got some in and he kind of raved about them because they were for the price very very nice um, they I think the company or it's like a family company out of I believe Richmond Virginia area um, and I had it on the to-do list to order some you know and I finally got around to it but I was like hey I was let me reach out to them um, and just you know chat with them and see what they said uh, and I did that reached out on Instagram chatted up with them um, the names escaped me right now I probably should have looked that up before I started this video but uh, in the full review I'll make sure to look up the uh, the person who I talked to on there and he um, ended up set, uh, sending me some stuff so I can't talk right now guys I apologize I believe I asked for the using the Kubi I believe I asked for the medium dump tray so it has like a main compartment and then it has like um, hopefully you guys the, I have my window open because you guys have heard me you know bitch and complain about the heat you know in my house is very very different from second floor and bottom floor I kept my window open this time because I would much rather be comfortable during these reviews so hopefully it's not gonna you know bother you guys too much but uh, it has a bigger like main area for you know dumping stuff or disassembling stuff and then it has like smaller areas that you can actually put like modular things in that they also make so I'm just gonna pop this open the color that I originally wanted they were sold out of or sold out of um, they were the it was the olive green and or OD green so I went with the black just because black goes with everything very nicely bubble wrapped in here yeah nicely packaged everything is taped up with bubble wrap all right so we're gonna open this up first try not to cut through Here it is, guys. This is really nicely made. I'm impressed already. I knew I was going to be happy with it just because Kevin said really good things about it. But as you guys can see, it is a 3D milled, or not 3D milled, 3D printed um, slab of plastic or whatever they use to print. Um, and on the inside here, they have cork board, actually. And you can see the three separate compartments. And then you can see the bigger compartment right here. Um, overall, I'd, I'll actually measure it up real quick. I have a thing on my uh, mat here. It's about seven inches by six and a half. So, you know, overall, not huge, but a very good size. You can easily fit a, you know, the Kubi is a very, I'd say a medium sized knife, but it fits very well on there. All right, so you have this. And then I asked for three... Uh, of their you know like, like I said modular type things I believe this one is just like a cup so I can put like pens pencils markers anything I have laying around my desk yep this is just a you know kind of catch-all cup I'll set that right it fits right in and it the fitment is really well done too as you guys can see it fits right in um, almost perfectly there's very minimal like moving around so that that's very nice I like that a lot already and then I think this one is just a small like four-way divider that try not to cut on here I think I just did. Um, so you can put like bolts and screws and pivots and clips and anything like that when you're doing disassemblies kind of a get the fuzz out of there 
just very nice little areas to, you know, keep things separate so you're not losing things. Also fits in there very, very nicely. And then last but certainly not least, the thing I'm probably most excited for is I will say that they, they package these very nicely. Um, there was no chance that these were getting damaged. They were all bubble wrapped very, very well. And then this last thing here is a bit holder. And then it also can hold here a um, driver of your choice. It fits down on, the, on that hex bit right there. And then you can also put a thing of KPL or um, Loctite or anything you need in here. So this will fit right on there. And then there you have it. I will try to hold this up so you guys can see it. Fits on there very, very nicely. I'm hoping you guys are able to see this. Um, so yeah, this is going to sit right on my desk. And I will be able to, you know, hold all my bits, my drivers, pens, pencils. Uh, when I come home, I can, you know, a lot of times I have knives laying out on my desk that are loaner knives from passenger groups or from other channels. Uh, so I can kind of set them up on there and, you know, have them a little bit, look a little bit nicer than just kind of having them toss on my desk. Because uh, sometimes it gets kind of hectic, but you know, for the for the price, I believe these go for. I think the medium tray goes for like sixteen dollars, and then the. I think the medium tray goes from like anywhere from like fourteen to like twenty two in that price range for a small, medium, and large, and then the accessories go anywhere from, I think like five to like ten, twelve dollars somewhere in there. I know my order total was like thirty six bucks. Um, cause I could see on the email that he sent me, uh, before he took like the discount code out or took the price off from a discount code. Um, so all this for 36 bucks. I mean, yeah, it's 3d printed. So you're going it, to, it's plastic at the end of the day. Um, so it's not going to be, you know, the most nicest and the, the most high quality stuff in the world, but from just me holding it, it feels very sturdy. The cork board, um, like inserts feel very well done. Uh, you know, they don't feel like they're going to pop out or anything. So I'm very excited to add this to my desk and to get my stuff in here. And I will definitely do a full review on this, you know, after I'll probably give this a little bit of time because I don't disassemble knives 24 seven. So I'll definitely, um, you know, put this through the paces and see how I just like it as not only just a disassembly tray, but also as a dump tray, um, you know, kind of just a holder for knives, different things like that. But very excited for that. Um, shout out to Tinker Force. Please go check them out. I will leave their website and their Instagram page linked down below. I believe they also make like cookie cutters um, for baking things as well. Uh, also, I believe is uh, 3D printed. So they're putting out some really cool products over there. I've seen some other channels get uh, some of these in. Um, Tri State DC, I think, was the most recent one that I saw. But it seems like they're kind of taking the industry, you know by storm almost and they're just putting out from what i could tell really well done products and i'm i'm super excited for this so thank you tinker force for sending this my way um you know i don't want to give absolutes but i can already tell you that my full review on this is probably going to be pretty positive um you know right away there's nothing on here that i can think of that i would rather have them done differently or um really upgrade in any way so super super excited for this Put this here and i will definitely have to uh get my desks you know mixed around once i film these videos but the second box is coming by the way of trevor over at mill run knife company trevor is or mill run knife company is the maker of the actually i have it sitting right here because i need to do my full review on this of the custom fixed blade that i had him make me um back a couple months ago uh, and I feel terrible because I have been, you know, slacking on putting this full review out. But this is actually one of the next one or two videos that I'll be filming after this. But uh, this is not a knife. This is actually three of my own knives, technically, that are coming back. Um, I sent him three knives to sharpen for me uh, because we, we chat pretty frequently on Instagram. Trevor's a fantastic dude. Uh, you know, it, it's he lives. So I think I've went over this before in my video. But um, he's from Meadville, PA. I am from Franklin, Pennsylvania, which is basically halfway between Erie and Pittsburgh. Um, so think of Erie and Pittsburgh on a map. I live pretty much smack dab in the middle. Uh, and Meadville is like 
20 minutes north of Franklin. So every time I go to go to school in Erie and come home, I drive through Meadville. And as much as I drive through there, I never have enough time to set up a, you know, uh, a time to meet him because I'm either driving back like later on a Sunday night to come back to school or kind of in the afternoon on Friday when I just want to get home or I have something going on that night. So I just haven't had any great times to meet up with him, but I definitely, that's high on my to-do list. Um, just because the man, he lives so close and the, the knife that he made me is phenomenal. I have really, really enjoyed carrying that. And that is going to be a very, very, very positive review. Um, so be on the lookout for that. But I think we were talking the one time and I just reached out and I said, Hey, would you, you know, potentially be interested in sharpening some knives for me? And he said, yeah, of course, dude. And stuff like that. And, um, you know, I asked him how much he would probably charge for it and he wasn't sure. And we kind of left it at that. Uh, and then just this past, uh, week or so, he bought one of the knives off me that I was selling for, um, to put towards my girlfriend's engagement ring. I realized that I've been talking for 60 minutes now, so I apologize guys. This will be a little bit longer of an unboxing, but, uh, he bought a knife off me and he's like, Hey, you just, you know, toss some of your knives in for me to sharpen. Um, you know, don't worry about pricing right now or anything like that. So that was so, so awesome of him. I do plan on paying him back at some, some way, shape or form. Uh, maybe if I get some more sharpenings done by him, I can, uh, maybe buy him another knife or something like that. Cause he doesn't have the biggest collection in the world. He duct taped the absolute shit out of this one. Um, so maybe that's what I'll do. Uh, Trevor, if you're watching this, pretend you didn't listen to me. But yeah, I sent him my F5.5, my Variant PE, and my Banter to get sharpened. Because um, I have a work sharp, like precision sharpener. I'm not that good at it though, and I really wanted some good edges put back on these. So I know these are in here, and I believe he also like made me a uh, strop out of stuff that he just had laid around because he asked me if I had one which I, I don't have one. And then I think he tossed in a few other, um, like micarta, like tops, fidget toys. He included one in the original, you know, box when I bought the knife off of him. But I think he tossed a couple of them in there for me. All right. He also packages things extremely, extremely well. All right, yeah, so I got a couple, he like, he like, tapes them up. This is what the uh, first micarta coin type thing was. And I think this is the strop. All right. So I believe he really packages these, these things up. Um, I always hate cutting into packages like this because you never know Now remember, this is how he packaged up my knife when I bought it off him. He put it in a huge box and bubble wrapped it and everything. So, yeah. Okay, so these are the um, my my pouch, I should say. All right, and he uh, another reason I you know I also wanted him to be able to check out some of these knives because um, when I sent them to him and he got them in. Uh, I think he messaged me and said how much he liked them and everything like that. So I was also really glad to allow him to check out some stuff. All right, so we are going to, let's see the F5.5. Here is just, you guys have all seen these knives before, but. Um, yes, this thing is, this thing was never terribly dull to begin with because I never use it, hard use it that much, but. Um, can tell already that this thing has much better of an edge biting into my nail or my thumb a little bit so that looks good great action on this I love this knife here is the variant PE rocking these beautiful arctic storm fat carbon scales Also, another very good edge. Bites into my nail. Yeah, this thing, these things can cut. All right, you can come in. Sorry about that, guys. My girlfriend came in my room, uh, told me she was leaving. She has to go somewhere. So had to take a little quick time out there, but 
yeah variant pe um nice edge on here uh he didn't put like mirror edge or anything mirror edges or anything like that on here but they're nice and sharp um, that's just what i wanted from them and then last up we have my wee banter this thing was probably the doll out of all of them yep i mean I'm, man can sharpen knives forget what system he has love this knife too i'm these are like three of my favorite knives in the collection so i was glad he had to check them out as well but yeah all good edges um this one had the mo or like i said the dullest i think um just because i've had it the i think i've had it the longest and i know i've passed this around i sent this to Corey over at um stafford ddc and he checked it out i think he did it some did some testing with it and i've used it a ton too so uh just it was time for a new edge on here and a new edge it has. So those are the knives. Um, I think this is the strop. Like I said, I never I was afraid of like, cutting through other stuff. I got this stuck on my finger. This is a very chaotic and a very all over the place unboxings, but oh well. Now I do need to order some compound for this. Um, you know, very. Um, not, you know, I should have had a strop by now, just because you know kind of a vital part of knife collecting. Even if I don't, even if I get sharpened that well, um, I should still be able to use a straw to keep my edges better, um, you know, in between sharpenings. I don't want to cut on this because I don't want to scratch the wood underneath, but I don't know if this will pull right off or not. This stuff reminds me of like the stuff that you put on uh like they wrap pallets with when they like have shipment, uh, shipments from trucking and stuff like that. All right, there we go, finally. So just a very simple, nice block of wood with a piece of leather on top. Smells good. Um, I do need to get some compound for this. So that'll be... Uh, you know an amazon order or something like that before i can use this but it's really cool this will actually this can actually sit somewhere on my desk right next to the new tinker force thing so that's very exciting uh, and i need to definitely learn you know how to strop uh you know the right way and stuff like that so that'll be something i have to learn about but thank you so much trevor for the strop i greatly appreciate that like i said trevor is just a fantastic dude um you know i've only talked to him over the internet, but uh, we've been talking for, I think like December was when we first started chatting and stuff like that. And he just, he just seems like a great guy. Um, and I really do apologize for this unboxing being super long, guys, but we're going to see what's in mystery package number one. Oh, that's right. These are like beads. Put a little piece of string in there. Okay, so that I, I knew he was sending me something, but these are like micarta, um, like lanyard beads almost. Um, he included three of them. Looks like this one is like, what is this? 
That's rad though. It looks like it almost has like metal in it, kind of. And you guys are gonna pick that up on camera. Kind of see those those lines there. Very, very cool. It's uh, like this green multi-layered sort of micarta. And then you have a, looks to be brown. And then you have a brown with blue in the middle and then sort of a tan. And then you have what looks like carbon fiber. I think I'm gonna pick that up or not. These are rad. I don't know what I'll do with these. Um, I don't know if I'll, you know, get, I don't really rock lanyards that much, but these are definitely cool. Um, I've been rocking his, it's out of reach right now, but he sent me something similar to one of these that matches the color of my knife. Um, that I've been rocking on my keychain ever since. So maybe we'll do something like that. I can divvy these up and toss them on different things or whatnot, or maybe, maybe you can get a knife with a lanyard on it and use them on there. So that's definitely cool. I'll have to find a safe place to keep those. And then these two, I believe, are like kind of coins. They're like little fidget areas, little fidget things. Yeah, they're very similar to what I have already. But look at that, guys. That is like snake. I almost said snake wood. Uh, like a snake pattern of micarta. These things are just sick. I don't know. I think he just said he uses like odds and ends of micarta from knife scales and stuff like that that he has no other use for. And he just mills them down and makes these little fidget things and odds and ends and stuff like that but this is sick um this is a little bit bigger than the first one but very smooth uh you know i could somehow try to probably learn how to like do the knife or the, the coin flip and stuff between my fingers but um i should keep one now that i have three i should keep one in the car because a lot of times my girlfriend gets annoyed with me whenever i sit there and flick my knives a lot um and this can be something kind of like a worry stone because it is nice and flat um and it, feels kind of cool and good to play with so maybe that's what we'll turn this into and i think this is another one similar to what that is but you can never be sure yes it is so this one's a little bit thicker and i don't even know what type of my car that is but you have a really cool kind of like wavy pattern on there and on this side you have it honestly reminds me of like that reminds me of like a porcupine or like an armadillo or some I don't know what I'm talking about but like the legs on a like a, a lizard maybe I don't know that's that's cool but this one's a little bit thicker than the one before it um so yeah these are these are just cool to have they're they're kind of like worry cheeses little little knickknacks little um you know pocket trash I guess you could say but I really like these so far um you know the one I already had I like a lot I would carry it once in a while uh, I should start doing some more pocket dumps. I was considering maybe getting a pouch here in the future. Um, these are stuff I can keep in the pouch and whatnot. But I've been saying whatnot a lot. But thank you so much, Trevor. Um, I greatly appreciate it. You know, just he's a great dude. He tossed in all these extras. Um, he sharpened some knives for me. He threw in this strop. Uh, just a great dude. And he makes a great knife. So be on the lookout for my four of you coming on this. Uh, that will be within the next... Within the next three videos, I have three, you know, knives set here to film. I don't know which is, you know, what the order is going to go in, but um, please be on the lookout for that. And yeah, guys, I'm going to wrap this up because I think we're, you know, we're approaching probably 30 minutes. Uh, it was just a long unboxing. I did a lot of talking and I had some struggles with some boxes and whatnot, but, and, uh, and whatnot. There we go. But thank you guys so much for watching uh, and just sitting through it with me and just, you know, just being part of the family. So I really do appreciate every single one of you. If you have not yet considered clicking subscribe, I would love it if you did so. Uh, and I just, I love all you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.